chemistry is the branch of science that deals with the structure and behavior of matter matter is one which occupies certain space and has certain mass every matter is made up of uh, constituent particles the constituent particles may be atoms ions or molecules based on the physical state of matter matter can be classified into three types the solids liquids and the gases in case of solids the constituent particles are very close to one another in case of liquids the constituent particles are little away from one another in case of gases the constituent particles are again away from one another in general the distance between the constituent particle increases from solids to liquids to gases which forces are responsible for physical state of matter there are two kinds of forces which are responsible for physical state one is the intermolecular force of attraction and the second one is the thermal energy intermolecular force of attraction is a attractive force which holds the constituent particles together firmly whereas thermal energy is a repulsive force which keeps the constituent particles away from one another in case of uh, solids the intermolecular force of attraction is greater than thermal energy in case of uh, liquids the intermolecular force of attraction is almost equal to or little greater than thermal energy but in case of uh, gases thermal energy is greater than intermolecular force of attraction in this chapter let's study about the solid state in detail coming to the characteristic properties of solid state solids are having characteristic properties and all the characteristic properties are because of strong intermolecular force of attraction between the constituent particles such as atoms ions and molecules because of strong intermolecular force of attraction the constituent particles are in a fixed position they may oscillate in their mean position but they don't come out of their location and second property solids are incompressible and rigid it means the since the constituent particles are compactly packed the intermolecular distance is very small they do not undergo further compression and they cannot flow that is why they are incompressible and rigid they have short intermolecular distances since the constituent particles are very close to each other obviously the distance between constituent particle is very less solids have definite mass they have definite volume they have definite shape why because of the same reason the great force of interaction between the constituent particles <laughs> these solid substances are classified mainly into two categories based on arrangement of constituent particles as crystalline solids and amorphous solids in crystalline solids there is a long range order of the arrangement of their constituent particle it means uh, the constituent particles are arranged in a regular pattern and that regular pattern is in a long range that is the meaning of long range order okay because of this property because of long range arrangement of uh, constituent particles these crystalline solids have sharp melting point sharp melting point means they melt at a particular temperature for example pure benzoic acid crystal melts at 121 degree celsius but not at 120.5 or above 121 exactly 121 degree celsius the pure benzoic acid melts it means it has a sharp melting point they are anisotropic in nature anisotropic in nature means the properties such as refractive index depends upon the direction along which it is measured for example i take some crystals of sugar in my hand and observe those crystals against a source of light here i can observe some particles of sugar are shining and some particles are not the shining nature of sugar is due to the refractive index if i change the direction of vision what happens here so particles which were shining may stop to shine and the particles which were not shining may start to shine because here what happens since the viewing angle is changed 
the property of refractive index also is changed. The property such as refractive index depends on the direction along which it is measured that is property is called as anisotropic property and it is a characteristic property of crystalline solids. Amorphous solids are isotropic in nature. Isotropic means what? The properties such as refractive index do not depend on the direction along which they are measured. Take an example of an amorphous solid such as some plastic material. If that plastic material is observed against the source of light, we observe it in a particular direction and when we change the viewing direction, the appearance is not going to be changed. It means the refractive index it uh, will not change as the direction of vision is changed. It do not depend upon the direction along which it is measured. This property is called as isotropic property.